the new Samsung Galaxy Alpha packs the best specifications for a mid-sized phone and it's also the first ever Samsung Galaxy phone with a metal frame. This smartphone is only 6.7 mm thick which is also making this the slimmest ever Galaxy phone. The build quality, the design of this Galaxy Alpha is stunning all around and it directly competes with the iPhone 6. Just like the iPhones, the loudspeaker is at the bottom which could be slightly annoying while playing games, especially racing games and there are benefits too. You can keep your phone on so far bed with face down or face up unlike other Samsung phones. Now before I start with the gaming review, let's talk about some important facts about this Galaxy Alpha. The battery on this phone is of only 1860 mAh which is not great but not bad at all. I am getting a full day backup and there are some extensive battery saving options though you should not use this while gaming because the phone puts restrictions to CPU and GPU uses so you will face lag. During gaming, I am getting around 2.5 hours or 3 hours of battery backup. The display on this device is extremely colorful and even more saturated than the display of Galaxy S5. The resolution is though HD, you are never going to complain about this unless you compare it side by side with a full HD or quad HD display. Now the internal space of this phone is 32GB and there is no microSD card slot. You will get more than 25 gig for the user which is I think more than enough for hardcore games and apps. The RAM is 2 gig, just like the Galaxy S5 and in fact each and everything on this smartphone starting from the exterior hardware to the interior software everything is directly borrowed from Galaxy S5. In fact on this Antutu 5 benchmark I am getting higher result on this Galaxy Alpha which is over 48,000. On Galaxy S5, I usually get around 42 or 43,000. I have also run the Nina Mark 2 benchmark and the result is just perfect 60 FPS. So this Galaxy Alpha is a powerful monster with best in class specs and the good news is the back part of the phone doesn't overheat unlike most of the high end devices and this also helps in longer battery backup. Plastic bag doesn't get overheated like the metal phones so Samsung did a good thing by not including metal at the back. Now let's get started with the gaming and the performance of this Galaxy Alpha is excellent. It can play almost all the games on the play store and though few games crashed during launch I think that is the problem with the games not the phone. The first game I am going to try today is the Asphalt 8 and as you know this is around 1.5 gig game and the most graphics intensive racing game on the play store. The super amulet display is extremely colorful, saturated and everything is looking quite sharp. As I mentioned before this display is even more colorful than the Galaxy S5 and Note 3. I played few levels of this game on this Galaxy Alpha and everything is just buttery smooth there is no lag no hiccup I have experienced. Though sometimes I cover up the loudspeaker and I am not actually used to this. As you can see guys, the phone is handling this game with zero lag. I'll play this game for a while, if you want to skip it, you can check the description below and find the name of the games I'm going to play today along with the timeline.
the next game i have for you today is the frontline commando 2 If you are used to large screen phones like Galaxy S5 or the Note series phones then you may find this slightly small for playing this type of arcade games but 4.7 inches is actually not that small. The game is playing without any issue though during launch the phone actually crashed once. The screen froze and I had to manually kill the app but now it's okay. Now enjoy the game and you can check the description below to skip this game. The next game I'm going to play today is called CKZ Origins or Contract Killer Zombies Origins. The brightness of this game is quite low and you can swipe at the top to increase the brightness. Well, it's already highest. It's a zombie game that's why it's dark. There is no lag or hiccup I am experiencing on this phone and the Galaxy Alpha is surely a hardcore gaming device. The next game I am going to show you now is called Blood and Glory. Galaxy Alpha can handle this game without any issue. The smaller display is actually helping me out in this game.
let's quickly show you the gaming experience with the temple run 2 Of course, there is no issue playing this game on this super powerful device. Let's play another mid-level game, it's called Beach Buggy Blitz. The last game I am going to play today is called Assassin's Creed Pirates. It's a very interesting game, you can chase ships and engage in fight with them. If you love to play games and want to know more about these hardcore games then you can check my other channel called Gadgets Portal Play where I show Android games and applications. You can find a direct link in the description below. Galaxy Alpha can handle this game without any issue though at launch the game actually crashed.
That's all in this gaming review guys and unquestionably Galaxy Alpha is a hardcore gaming device. The back part is slightly warm but not overheated and the metal frame is also not that much hot. So if you are looking for a compact but high performance device then Galaxy Alpha is just perfect. Thanks for watching guys, see you in the next review, bye bye and keep in touch.